Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we're still in the Mandragora at this uh, lovely party with uh, the Duchess right over there, Anna Henrietta. I uh, actually never mentioned, in the books she's not called Anna Henrietta but Anna Rietta, I think it's merged together. Uh, so these are the refreshment tables and we're still looking for the, the Cintrian by the way. Uh, we seem to have her musical instrument here. The left their loop behind. Looks a little like dandelions. So we were originally. Someone beat him twice. We were originally looking for Cecilia, the lover of the Centurion, and uh, I think that's still kind of what we're looking for in hopes of finding the Centurion himself. So there's a scrap of paper here, a love letter. Love letter penned on a napkin. Look. Oh, my amour, my son being flitted in across the firmament of my okay. life. Okay. So, Laura, oh, my dearest love, oh, lone ray of sunshine on the firmament of my life, I shall speak from my heart. For weeks I have been shooting stolen glances in your direction, hiding the hope I dare nurture deep within my bosom, that perhaps you feel for me even one iota of the affection I feel for you. I have waited long, gathering the courage to confess my feelings for you, I would certainly be waiting still, had not you appeared at the night soiree in the company of that womanizing, carousing, drivel-scribing, pretentious pig named Alphonse de Reside. When I saw that emaciated turd fawning over you, I immediately knew I had to act. I turned to the best weapon in my arsenal, the quill and the well-turned phrase, and began writing you this letter. Forgive me, it is written on a napkin, for I had nothing more appropriate at hand at the time. Oh, most marvelous of all women, do not believe a word he whispers in your ear. He is as slippery as a viper and twice as venomous. Reject his advances and let me walk hand in hand with you, feed you grapes and with you radiate happiness to the heavens themselves. Yours forever, Fabien or Fabian, depending on how you uh, pronounce it. So to Laura from Fabian and we he was talking about a man called Alphonse de Reside. Huh. But apparently not interesting for us. We could loot the tables, we're not gonna do that. What's this? Empty heart-shaped box. Cecilia must have left it behind. It looks like it held a flask of perfume. Okay, Gift that's Cynthia, we probably can follow. Let's follow it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So let's follow the scent around. The great it uh It's always weird how it waves like that. It's probably because of the wind, but uh, hopefully not because of the woman that was walking like that. Because she would have been drunk if that was the case. So it's still going over here, back to the the lamps we set off. And there seems to be a door over there. Yeah, it's crossing over into the door here. Hello! Oh, bodyguard. Hello, sir. Sorry, only artists in the Mandragora allowed. Okay. We must consider what to do. Well, I have magic spells I can I use. Recognize that voice anywhere. Okay. You, you must be mistaking me for someone else. I served fifteen years in the palace. Your Grace, I'd not mistake you for anyone. Shh. Not so loud. We are here incognito. On state business. Yes, Your Grace. How may I serve? Maybe stop calling her Your Grace. Um, don't tell anyone you've seen us for a start. I hope we can count on your discretion. Of course. I shall be silent as the grief. Well, that's good to hear. So, uh, have you seen Cecilia Bellante? Looking for Cecilia Bellante. Seen her? She's in her dressing room, where she went with a nobleman. They clearly were drawn to each other. What did the man look like? Tall, broad-shouldered, a black beard peeping out from under his mask, and he spoke with a foreign accent, a drawl of sorts. So, they're probably having sex in there. Quickly. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take you. No, stay here. Anyone tries to flee, you stop them. Understood. I hope he doesn't die because of that. Because that sounds like it could be happening. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, woman. 
Don't antagonize me like that. Uh, which room is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just follow the scent, I suppose. Open! You there! Put it back in your trousers! Or not. That must oh. be Cecilia. Okay. No he call. slit her throat. Late. And she's starting to get nervous. He slit her throat. The brute. Take it easy, Anna Henrietta. Out the door. Guard would have noticed. Might still be somewhere here. Why would he be? Find him before he harms another. I shall alert Oriana at once. She should bring her soiree to a close. Shouldn't split up. Get out. I will be fine. Go after that rogue. I shall fetch help. Yeah, I'm not really convinced that that will be the case, but uh. Oh God. That was a. Uh... A worse sight than I anticipated. A lot worse a sight. Hmm. Killed her, then went out on the balcony. Well, I don't think we have a lot of time to check the room here, but there's a box here. Don't mind if I steal everything in the room. Uh, so that's there's another box over here. Thank you. And uh, let's head outside. So there's a hand print over hand here. Print. Mm -hmm. It's his. Did he just? Put the, the door. Door made a platform. Clever. Must be pretty strong too. So there are footprints over here. Mm, must have climbed this ladder. Yes, indeed. Climb the ladder, Geralt. I know you're having trouble with that, but climb the ladder. Thank you. To track a killer. Could still be here. Need to stay alert. Okay. Yes, indeed. So there's more boxes I can loot. There is a scuff mark on the floor there. Don't mind if I do, I need to... Oh, what the hell happened here? Smashed mirror. Someone crashed into it hard and sank to the floor. Okay. That's weird. Blood stains. Did he hurt himself? Links of a snap chain. Jewel must have been on it. Yeah, that jewel over there. Precious the value stone. of jewel. Bloody fingerprint on it. Thief came for this. Must have tiny chain links next to it. From a snapped necklace. Seems there was a struggle. And what about this box? box? Locks busted. Picked open probably. Okay. So a thief tried to steal something and then probably got shoved into the mirror and died because of the impact. Uh, there's more Scott stuff over suspect. here. Smeared with blood. Someone tried to grab it. And then he was pushed out. Blood on the window frame. Someone climb out. Fall out. C can you look down, Geralt? Maybe you see a corpse down there. Okay, never mind. Uh, blue armor. Ooh. Thanks for all of that. And then there's another piece of jewelry. Horrible, but it's not what he came for. Okay. Because we've been stealing a lot more since we uh, entered this room. More blood. Empty inkwell. Knocked over, turned toward the room. Okay, so... Someone ran in and then... Canvas bumped into uh, the Sintrian, probably. A knife to the painting, looks like. So... I'm guessing the thief... Ran in, but bumped into the Sintrian and then there was a struggle. Doesn't explain why the jewelry was stolen, though. Uh, I think there's one more piece. Yeah, over here. Decorated hunting knife. Hunting knife, richly ornamented, used during the fight, probably. Okay. Jewel was in the box, it seems. Centrian tried to steal it, but someone got in his way. They fought, struggled. That's clear. Ended with one of them flying out the window. Fall had to have killed them. You can Jewel's still look still out the window, though. Geralt. So our Sintrian must have been the flyer. Oh, that's bad. And now look down. Uh, behind you, Geralt. Um... So, this is the tracker. A witcher, yes? Indeed, this is him. We found the body together. Then he set off in pursuit of the killer. And ended up here, but I've only found evidence of a fight. 
Seems the Centrians killed his last. Finally failed this time. Shame it happened too late for Cecilia. Poor girl. Always told her she chose her males badly. But I would never have suspected she could arrive with a murderer. Okay. I'll let the staff. Have them see to her body at once. Meanwhile, we should sit. I will tell you everything in full detail. Wait, what? What do you know about all this? Oh, you naughty crows. I caught him red-handed, attempting to burgle, rifling through my possessions. What did you do? Summon the guards? Wait. There was no time. I feared he'd escape, refused to give him the chance. He stood with his back to me, so I attacked. He struck his head on a picture frame as we struggled. He was bleeding, dazed, and then he drew a knife. Everything happened very quickly then. I knocked the weapon out of his hand and pushed him hard. He fell out of the window. Just so. Wait. No. She's lying. There was blood on the... Oh, well, wait, no, never mind. So the blood on the knife was probably because he slit uh, Cecilia's troth. Uh, imprudent attacking him, though. None too wise picking a fight with an armed robber. Why? Because I'm a woman, in a frock rather than plate. I can take care of myself, I assure you. A hairpin yeah, we've might seen look that. like mere ornament, but plunged into an eye, it can be as effective as a blade. Wow, okay then. Um, I agree with that one. So, I think I know what he was after. You do? Claim the man was the trying jewelry, to probably. you when you walked into the room? Yes. He stood over my dressing table, pouring through my jewelry. Mm-hmm. After this is my guess. Picked it up while searching. Why, that's the heart of Toussaint. Oriana, how did you ever come to have it? I bought it, many years ago, from a young woman. The heart of Toussaint. Um, what makes it so important, yeah? The jewel seems important. Why? The heart is an heirloom. It belonged to my family for years. Then it disappeared. I didn't think we would ever recover it. Seems someone is very determined to find it. The thief left his tool bag behind. Found this drawing inside it. Look. You found a lot while killing a man. I don't trust this Oriana chick. Representation's pretty faithful. Centrian must have been on a job. Got very clear instructions what to look for. So. So it is not him we seek, but his employer. Is this yeah, who clearly has also a relationship a with the, the Duchess. With. Hunting knife. Used to skin game. Got an emblem on its hilt. This crest is used by the Lords of Duntine. The present master of the castle is a passionate hunter. Our next lead, perhaps. Hmm. And what is that? Duntine. Remember the place. Abandoned ruin just a few years ago. More recently, the family's last heir. Roderick returned to his ancestral seat and restored the castle. Know any more about this Roderick? His grandfather was an advisor to Queen Ademarta. The family received those lands as a grant for his service. Roderick is quite the recluse. He avoids society, preferring the company of a small team of knights. Though the latter term is imprecise, as they seem more akin to vandals with crests on their shields. Okay. So, uh... We're gonna need some time to investigate everything and see what's there. Oriana, everything we discussed here, hope you'll keep it to yourself. Counting on it, in fact. Word gets out he, uh, failed in his attempt to steal the jewel. His employer could run. We need to proceed cautiously. Discretion is in the interest of us all. I'll not ask what this is about, just as I expect not to be troubled about it again. By anyone. <clears throat> Forgive me, Madam Oriana, but might I have a word? You must excuse me a moment. Okay, what's this about then? I still don't trust her. It's kind of a weird story that she would be able to kill a murderer like that. Oriana, any thoughts? Few make me feel awkward, but in her presence, I sense anxiety, discomfort. She's hiding something at least, so uh 
Something familiar the about the drawing. It's on the same type of paper the victims' names were written on. Drawn with the same ink, too. Seems the work of our blackmailers. Who were not only behind the beast's murders, but also stole the Son Real and sought to steal the heart of Toussaint. Look, the wine, the jewel, both tied to you intrinsically. Coincidence? Not something I'm willing to believe. Worried about one thing. That somewhere at the end of this scheme, plan might call for an attempt on your life. It's it, looking that way, at it least. could be something else altogether. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. She knows something. My sister, Siana, might be among the schemers. She left court when we were children. My parents banished her from the duchy. I've not seen her since. Uh, that sounds like something we should have known about before, don't you think? Um, why was she banished? What did your sister do to get banished? Siana was... cursed. Parents run afoul of some mage? No. She was born at an inopportune moment. They said she was touched by the curse of the Black Sun. Geralt, is it true? Can an individual be evil because they were born during the wrong lunar phase? Could be the case. Could also be because they were treated like lepers from birth. Isolated, prodded, ostracized. Couldn't have had it easy, Siana. She... She was angry at the whole world. She felt inferior, felt pain. Though she masked this with confidence, arrogance even. She could also be cruel at times. I recall one such situation. She persuaded Cedric the Coolbert that she could see the future in her dreams. We were children, and Cedric's brother was smitten with me. It was an innocent childhood crush. Siana knew of it. She told Cedric of a dream she had had, that he would die at the hands of his own brother. Cedric stole his father's sword and killed his brother. She destroyed two lives with a prank. Cedric mourns to this day. In the end, they forced her to leave the palace. A decade passed. More. I've missed her terribly since. I don't think she missed you. Because, uh... The way she was treated, it probably is some sort of vengeance plot. But, uh... You think she's involved, though? You think your sister might be involved? Why? You see, I recall her always being rather possessive, throwing jealous fits if I had something she didn't. Here, yeah, that's normal for sisters. Rivalry. True. I suppose I gave as good as I got. There are times I miss that very much. The wine, its theft was the first clue. That's very much like her. She always did enjoy stealing my toys. But I grew almost certain when I saw the heart of Toussaint. Siana received it from father as a gift. At a time when my parents thought of her as but an ill-behaved little girl, someone wanted some of my wine. The same someone ordered our family jewels stolen. Or recovered. It's my sister. It must be. A fallen princess satisfying whims, going after lost luxuries? Could be right. Or you could be wrong as well. Your mission has gained new import. You must go to Dun Time, and if Siana is there, you must find her. No matter what she did, she is not to be harmed in any way, shape, or form. You must make sure of that. It's weird how the focus has shifted away from that love completely and the vampires. Huh. Well. I'll see to it, I suppose. Might regret that decision, but... I'll find her if she's there. I hope you do. I very much wish to talk to her. Sister to sister. Your Grace, Geralt, I'd like to introduce... Regis! What a surprise! I had no idea you were in Bogle. Wait, whoa, whoa, and whoa, wait, is... what? Uh, Detlaf? My very dear friend, Detlaf van der Eretain. Oh, shit! We are lending our combined resources to the witch's hunt. 
Ah, uh, yes. Speak Splendid. about the devil. But why are you here at Oriana's? They came to pay me a surprise visit, so I invited Regis in for a glass of wine. We've known each other for... Ooh, ages. Literally. Why liter literally? Witcher, I hear you know Regis too. Is she older Even than she... You are friends. Makes it out to be? That a surprise to you. All true. Few I can rely on like I can on Regis. Kind of hoping he thinks the same of me. Curious. It seems opposites really do attract. Don't be fooled, dear. Geralt this is uncomfortable. He really hides them from the world very diligently. Mm -hmm. You said you're both aiding him with his contract. It involves the Beast of Beauclair, I suspect. <laughs> Master Witcher, this is maybe great. You satisfy my curiosity. What's it like going toe to toe with a monster? Knowing you've only two options, to kill or be killed. Despite what you might have heard, I don't lunge at every monster I see, sword in hand. Talking gets the job done for some. Hmm. I wonder what a monster might have to say to you. Well, uh... Want to apologize. My yes, wife. indeed. For what might a monster wish to apologize to a witcher? For killing. Though at times there is no choice, when loved ones are at risk and require protection. Hmm. Just like humans do. Same as humans. Put them in that situation, they'll kill too. You understand this. It must be why you and Regis are friends. If I understand you correctly, you would rather help a monster than kill it. If possible, yeah. Or at least try. This Enough is awesome. Enough trait for now. Regis mentioned you come from Nazaire. I spent time there as a child. Fond memories? It was wonderful. I was positively entranced by the land's fashions. Deep cut dresses I found most fascinating. I believe we're running short on wine. I should go to the cellar, bring another bottle. Let me go. When I help Regis, know your wine a lot better than I know mine. We shall return forthwith. Are you seriously gonna leave the Duchess alone with that laugh? And Oriana, by the way. An exceptional conversation, don't you think? Vampires, a witcher, and the Duchess of Toussaint? My, my. Highly Yeah, that was very Duchess. interesting. Wanted to talk to you in private. You crazy bringing Detloff here? Geralt, uh, allow me to explain. No, let me explain. He's dangerous, and you are gonna watch him. But that is precisely what I'm doing. Detloff believes you'll succeed in your task, and he'll not need to kill anymore. That is, not until he gets his hands on the men who kidnapped his Renna. So Renna, that's her name. Um... Oriana, how do you know her? Oriana? Is she really your friend? Can she be trusted? Uh, I met her years ago. Before I met you. And before she settled in Beauclair. We'd not seen one another in... Uh, oh, uh, I can't begin to tell you in how long. But I shall tell you all about her some other day she's a fucking broxa isn't she sorry about my swearing i mean she indicated that she knows regis for a long time but she doesn't look that old so she must be a vampire as well then um seriously just a coincidence you stopping by guessing it's no accident you two stopped by it would be quite some coincidence indeed no a dutiful little bird told us mm-hmm yeah, one of the crows on the on the statues, probably. So, we know where the blackmailers are. Now listen close. Manage to learn where the blackmailers are. They're based at Duntine Castle. That's splendid news. If they are there, Renna must be there as well. Duchess expects we'll find her long-lost sister there, too. Thing is, she might be involved. Could be behind the blackmailing. Do you mean to say your task now is to extract two women from the castle? Mean to say we can't breathe a word of this to Dedloff, who wants revenge above all else. Maybe Geralt, he already heard that. Me. I've got away with... No, Regis. Can't risk it. Gotta keep Dedloff here while I go to Duntine. Alone? Alone. That way I can make sure neither woman will come to any harm. I hope you know what you're doing. Fine. I shall see to Dedloff. Good luck, my friend. Okay, we're gonna have to make a decision soon, I am afraid. I'm gonna have to choose between those two women. 
Ah, oh, I'm grateful you brought back those memories. You're back. It took you long enough. Contrary to what common folk believe, choosing a wine is not nearly as easy as it might seem. Especially a wine to be served to two exquisite ladies. Regis. Gallant as ever. I regret all the more that I shan't finish this second bottle with you. Duty calls. Your grace. Always a pleasure. I thank you for your help. It's been invaluable. Geralt, will you see me out? We will. That was a very cool scene. I mean, the tension between all those characters. It was uh, really palpable. You have but now, a final friends. conversation. This Detlef, an intriguing man to say the least. Yes, indeed. Especially since he's the Beast of Beauclair. He tell you much about himself. Don't know him too well. He say much about himself? Not much. But I've a good sense of the true nature of those I meet. I'd not survive a week at court otherwise. So what's his? Sensitive. Sad. He carries within him the weight of a terrible tragedy. He is a good man, but lost. Which is why he comes across as grim. Okay. Well, uh, interesting evening all around then. Didn't expect the evening to end like this. Neither did I. But I have not drawn you out for a romantic stroll. I wish to make certain would be you weird. know what you are to do. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to Duntine. I've decided my guardsmen will support you. You will meet them at Counter Lacrosse Mill. It stands along the Saint Retour River, near the Cockatrice Inn. Captain de la Tour and his men will await you there at midnight. You shall storm the castle together. Okay, sounds like a plan. And a nice mural about making wine. The Metina Gates. So we're back outside. And I'm already dreading the moment where we're going to have to uh, choose between Siana and Rena. Because I'm afraid that will have to, that will probably happen. Meet Damien at Count de la Croix's mill after midnight. So Count de la Croix... Wait a second. The mill of Count de la Croix, isn't that where Detlov killed the Count himself and cut off his own hand? Is that... That's that place, right? Because we've seen that in the flashback. So, a quest completed the man from Sintra. I got another ability point, so let's spend that first. So there we go. Let's just upgrade the uh, undying skill. I'm gonna have to think about where to put that later on, but uh, that's that. And uh, with that, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. It was a really, really cool scene at the end there. The tension between uh, Geralt and the vampires at the table was really, really cool and very well done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on the YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Because I really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next episode or series. Goodbye.